decentralization solves this one essential problem. You're a new employee X, and you walk in with this fancy new cell phone. It's got your grocery list, it's got games for your kids, it's got all your social media apps, and it's got all the things that make a phone unsecure but fun. We are IT. We want to give you a phone like this. It's boring, it does everything we need it to do, and nothing more. So, what you probably want is for us to put all the things on your corporate phone onto your cell phone, along with your kids' pictures and all these things we don't care about. We're not going to do that. But what we can do with cell phone virtualization is basically haunts your phone. And we do that by taking an image of our corporate phone and blasting that image onto your personal phone. And essentially you have two phones in one device. And the way it works is, say you get a work phone call. Your phone rings, it'll ring with a slightly different ring, and you'll answer it. It'll be your boss, it'll be whomever you might need to talk to at work, but it'll be your work phone. At the same time, your personal phone could ring. Well, not exactly the same time, but say a couple minutes later, your personal phone could ring. You'll pick it up, it'll be your spouse, it could be your kid, it could be whatever, but it's your personal phone. So, with cell phone virtualization, you would press a button on your phone, and you'd have all your corporate email, all the corporate communications, say, uh, Salesforce chatter, anything like that, and you'd have easy access to it. But when you get out of that app, you're back in your personal cell phone. So you basically have the best of both worlds. You have your personal cell phone that you know and love with all the cool apps, and you've also got your very boring corporate phone that does all the things we want it to do and nothing more. And it makes your life easier, makes us happy, and everything's good.